Well, hey there, dudes. Are you ready for fun facts with Discord number whatever this is? Because pre-production Patrick forgot to look at the number before he started the show? Me too. Elmer McCurdy, an outlaw in the twilight years of the Old West, was arguably more entertaining in death than he was in life. He was killed in a police shootout in 1910, and instead of burying the guy, the Undertaker embalmed the body and put him on display. He was eventually taken by carnival workers posing as his brothers and put it in their show. He traded hands several times throughout his post-mortem journey, even being used as a prop of a dead dope fiend to promote the 1933 film Narcotics. He eventually was dipped in wax and painted up to look like a wax figure and locked in an LA warehouse with actual wax figures. Until he was sold with them to the wax museum. Since the owner, Spoonie Singe, couldn't put the figure on display as it was too gruesome, it was a shriveled mummy of a body at that point, he sold it to the Pike Amusement Zone in Long Beach, where it was used as a prop of a hanged man in one of the exhibits. He was finally discovered to be a corpse in 1976 when an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man was being filmed there, and a tech who tried to move the body had its arm break off in its hand. McCurdy was then taken back to his home state of Oklahoma and finally put to rest. 65 bloody years after his death. If you want to sit there and think just how weird humans are, that is the living example. Well, not living, but you know what I mean. The movie Cool World was a flop because the producer and two writers changed the original script for the movie. The original was about a psychopath killer child born from a human father and a toon mother finding his place in either human or cartoon world, which he ends up finding that he doesn't fit in both worlds. He also tried to kill his father due to him abandoning him. That's... Isn't that Bendy and the Ink Machine? Is that what, is that is that the plot? Wasn't that the plot? Dawn detergent can literally clean anything except the mirror. You don't need to buy a ton of different cleaning products for the bathroom. In addition, Dawn actively donates to wildlife charities and makes sure their new formulas are safe for use on animals in case of oil spills. They don't do animal testing either. One of the very few name brands worth supporting. I 110% agree with this person's statement. Thank you, um, homestuck guy. Finland has the most leftover mortar shells and ammunition after the Second World War. This is because Finland was forced to drive out the German troops from Lapland by the Soviet Union, starting the War of Lapland, 1944 to 1945. This was a phony war for most part, but Soviets threatened to invade if the Finns didn't fight the Germans. The Germans were driven out and they left tons of mortar shells behind. Thousands of shells are destroyed by the army every year and they are still found within nature. Alright, let's put this in comedic perspective for a second. Alright, Finland, here's what you do. Germans are invading, you wipe them out or we invade you. Also, when they leave, you're going to have to clean up their mess. And if you don't do that, well, we also will invade you. I actually feel really sorry for Finland. You've never seen a full movie because you blink. That actually sounds more like a shower thought than a fun fact. I mean, it could be both. Because it's not wrong. But I, I, I want to see a full movie now. The Museum of Broken Relationships lets you anonymously drop off items that remind you of your ex and then turns your story into an exhibit. The displays have helped thousands of people heal by giving them the chance to overcome emotional collapse through creativity. It's now seen over 45 temporary and two permanent locations around the world. Oh, I actually really like that idea. Inside the firmware of every copy of the Nintendo Switch, there's a copy of NES Golf, a game created by Satoru Iwata. How do you play it? Well, first you have to have a brand new Switch, still running version 1.0.0, and has never been connected to the internet. Then on July 11th, the actual internal system clock, not just setting the system to that date, the day of Satoru's passing, you take the Joy-Cons and you make Awata's signature straight to you, Jester. So yeah, you're probably not going to be able to unlock it on your Switch, but that's okay. It's not meant to be open. The game is there as a omamori, a Japanese charm carried in a bag. Opening it is said to let the blessing out, so you're not supposed to. It's just one final good luck charm from Awata to carry with you wherever you go. God bless you, Satoru. You were too good for us. This one's mildly disturbing. You can get your iris color changed, but only outside of the U.S. as it isn't cleared in the U.S. This is because it literally cuts your eye open and replaces your iris with a silicone circle. It hasn't been cleared in the U.S. for safety, obviously. However, there is a new technique being developed that is meant to be much, much safer and less likely to damage the eye permanently. In fact, this is one of the cosmetic surgeries with the highest rate of unintended side effects. Even if they're making a safer method, I think 
With your eye color, you just gotta deal with the card you're dealt. And finally, Shadow of the Colossus was originally going to have 64 colossi, but due to that being too many for everyone to work on, it was moved down to 24. But then it went down again to 16, and now that's where it stands to this very day. Even though there are images of the 8 unused colossi in certain things like beta trailers and so on, you can also find their areas like the cave, the dam, the fields, and other areas. You know, you'd think with the remaster they would have included those 8 other colossi. Or hell, they could have done the original 64, because I'm pretty sure PS4 could kind of handle all that stuff now. But maybe I just want that, because this is my favorite PlayStation game, and if they did that, I would have actually bought a PS4. I don't know.